Let's start with what eelgrass isn't. It's not an algae, it's not a seaweed. It's actually a perennial plant with stems, leaves, flowers, seeds, just like a plant on land. It's a type of seagrass, so it grows um, in the sediment under the water. And sometimes when the tide is low, it's exposed, so you'll see it um, kind of laying flat on the mud. But when the tide is higher, it kind of just floats in the, in the tide. Eelgrass is found in shallow areas within estuaries, which are where saltwater and freshwater mix in sheltered embayments from Washington State through northern Mexico. Eelgrass grows in a really narrow depth range. If it grows too high in the intertidal, it'll be exposed to air for too long, and then it can dry out or lead to desiccation stress. It can't grow too deep in the water column because it needs a lot of light to photosynthesize. And so it's really restricted in where it can grow, where it's not exposed to air for too long, but it has enough light availability at depth to photosynthesize.